guys, how's it going? I'm back with a Generation 12 video for you guys today. This one is actually... I'm kind of nervous to watch this one, actually. Based on the title. Dad kills... Kills... 16-year-old girl in road rage, road rage incident. What happens next is shocking. Generation Hope. What the fuck? Who are you gonna kill? Like, you're gonna kill somebody, which is obviously wrong. I don't care how old they are. But you're, but you're gonna kill somebody. Start. And they're 16 as well. Like, you're really gonna, gonna, gonna kill a teenager? And over this. Like, you shouldn't kill anybody for any reason. The only reason I could kind of understand is, like, let's say... I don't know, like, let's say someone kills your family member and then you kind of want to kill them. That makes sense. Like, it's still not okay, but, like, it makes sense. But, like, over a, ra a road rage incident? Like, to me, that's just way too... Way too not okay. You know? So I'm going to try to skip ahead here. Where does it say earlier in the day? I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to find that. I'm just gonna watch them in the beginning because I, I can't find where the spot is. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start here. But again, we know Generation Hope kind of puts like a preview, a snippet of the, of what happens in the more towards the end in the beginning, which is kind of like I don't I don't like it, but is what it is. Dad kills sixteen year old girl. Let's go. Because of you, I lost my kids. Oh, I see. I'm gonna miss my court date, and because he missed the court date, because of that. Well, I mean, what happened? Like, I need some context first. Like, did she, was it even her fault? Put the gun down. I'm sure we can help you somehow. Okay? You will apologize to me right now. I'm giving you one last chance. And he's like sweating too. He's like tripping from his nose. Ew. Can I shoot you from all these other people? Exactly what I'm gonna do. Go to Hell Creek! See you in hell. It's a traffic jam, obviously. Yeah. Where are you? You're supposed to be here already. I know that, Marissa. I'm stuck in traffic. It's not some excuse with you. <laughs> Don't start, okay? I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. Well, there's not even any traffic. Like, what's going on? What's going on in front of them? Nothing. Just drive. I love mango smoothies. That woman is impossible. Let's go. Hey, Pete. Don, the judge just got here. He's really happy about you being late. Are you almost here? Well, there's an accident or something. Traffic is backed up all the way down the highway. I see. Try your best to hurry. The later you are, the angrier he's going to get. He might be less likely to give you custody. You don't think you'd give full custody to Martha, do you? It's a possibility. You're my lawyer. You, you've got to be able to say something. Tell him that I'm very sorry and that I'm on the way. Uh, I'll see what I can do, okay? Just get here, man. Thanks, Pete. <sighs> I'm never going to make it. I'm going to lose my kids, I know it. And there's nothing I can do. 
Oh my god, stop updating your socials. You're gonna get us killed. Pay attention to the road. Relax, Alice. Traffic is barely moving. <sighs> what are you doing? Trying to merge. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think he sees you. Um, I... He'll let me over. Oh Shoot. my god. You're gonna get us killed. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh, this is ridiculous. I Unreal! Get a clue! Oh, okay. That was ridiculous. Oh my god! Hey! Watch out! You cut me off! What's wrong with you? I made it, though. Yeah, but now the guy's really mad. It's called aggressive driving, Alex. Sometimes you have to show the other drivers. Stop it! Oh my god. Okay, so obviously you don't do that because, I don't know, she kind of cut him off, like the traffic isn't really moving anyways, like there's basically like, it looks like a fire truck just blocking traffic, like, <clears throat> can they not go on the side or something? I, I don't know, do something, like I don't think the traffic jam is that bad, like come on now. But just based on like what I'm seeing here, like you can probably go around, and like this obviously red car, this girl turned in front, which... If you signal, and, and it's, it's obviously it's obviously hard when you're not moving, but if you signal at least, and like make sure the driver kind of sees that you're trying to turn in, it's a lot easier when you're actually moving, you know, driving, driving, signal, 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 this car knows, they turn, that, that's it. But when you're not moving, <clears throat> it's more easy to not really see them. But obviously make sure they see you, try to make sure they see you, uh, at least make a bold guess that they see you, make sure that you signal to signal your turn, as you always, always should, check your blind spot. Make sure that you're not going to hit him. He was kind of being dramatic in the sense of like, oh my god, unreal. Like, is this someone trying to merge in? When when she suddenly braked, I don't know if that was like a brake check or something. It, it, it seemed like it was, it was it was a brake check. So, kind of cutting people off and a brake check. Still no reason to kill somebody, but still. No matter giving them the finger when they're already super angry. This is making me think of that movie Unhinged. If you guys have seen it, you never talk to an angry driver in a way that would anger them possibly more. Apologize. <clears throat> it's so easy. It, it's not your fault, okay, but they're really upset. Okay, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I, I, I just BS your way out of it. Save yourself. Of course you want to also, like, you know, stand up for yourself as well, so I got that she's not backing down, which is obviously great, but, like, you don't know who anybody is, in my opinion, and if you fight back, then you don't know if they're going to fucking shoot you like he's about to. Oh, giving me the finger. Road rage. It should be crazy or something. Yeah. I'm working on it, Pete. What? He take my kids away just like that? Did you tell him that I'm in traffic? This is not my fault. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my kids, Pete. Sorry, Don. Do your best to get here, okay? Gotta go. I'm not gonna make it in time. No, no, no. Come on! Come on! Hey, sorry my car's such a mess, by the way. I didn't know I had to take it either. No, you're, you're fine. It honestly looks better than mine. Oh? Why do you have an empty glass? How is that still here? That's that's my ex-boyfriend, so it was his favorite glass he had. I like to drink a lot. Oh. Actually, can I see that? Yeah. Sophie! What are you doing? That's littering! I got rid of it. Like, I got rid of it. Oh my god. You stress me out. That's fine. Literally, who cares? Unreal! I got a flat! She threw that bottle out! There's glass everywhere! Now I'm gonna be late. Hey, Sophie. Now, <clears throat> I thought that he was going to kill her because she gave him the finger. It's it's not like that. She literally got, threw a glass out when she ran over and got a flat tire. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Like, you really had to just... You really had to turn. You really had to give him the finger. You really had to brake check him. You really had to throw a glass out the window. Really? You couldn't have waited until you saw a garbage can or something. 
you throw a glass out the window, that's the stupidest thing ever. And plus, I'm pretty sure if you throw a, if you throw a cup out the window, it'll probably break by itself instantly. So the fact that you just drop it and then um, the car just runs over it, fuck's sakes, really? Like, oh my god. Now the girl's gonna be even more mad. The guy's gonna be even more mad. Wor worth killing her over? Definitely not. But you're definitely not gonna get your kids. If you kill somebody, you're not gonna see anybody for a long time. You're gonna see bars in, fr in front of your face. If you kill somebody, good luck. I think the guy behind us is walking up here. What do you want? He's probably upset because you flipped him off. Roll down the window. Maybe you should roll it down. No way. Roll down the window. Do it. The window is like this much open. You can hear me. I can clear. I can clearly hear you. Why do you want to open? Why do you want me to open the window? If anything, close the fucking window. See what he wants. No, if we ignore him, we'll go away. Says. What do you want? What do I want? That bottle you threw out the window popped my tire. I didn't throw anything out the window. I don't know what you're talking about. And now you're lying. Okay, now he's gonna be really mad. Like honestly, this girl is definitely in the wrong here. It's not really his fault. Okay, because she just so happened to you know had to cut 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 in front of him, not signal, flip him off, brake check him, throw throw a glass at the window, and then lie to him about throwing a glass at the window. Again, worth killing them over? No, but I would at least say sorry. Like, come on, say sorry. Don't be stubborn. Say sorry. Like, that's your fault. Legit your fault. That it, there, there's nothing to stand up for yourself for in this case because it's le it's legit your fault. No, doesn't have any clue. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What's up, you? I can't drive my truck. Give me a second. Let me just point out that he's saying... Because... Okay, she threw the glass out this window right here. She threw the glass out this window, it went here. He ran over with this tire. As you can see, there's no glass and the tire is fully functional. Just saying. Of you, I can't drive my truck, and now I can't get to a place that's very important! I don't see how that's our problem. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so again, on top of the, all the stuff I just said, add this on to it. Now you're kind of like interrogating him. I don't know if that's, if that's the correct word, but like you're, you're kind of testing him. You know what I mean? Like you're lying about it. You're saying it's not your problem. You're not apologizing. Bro, what are you doing? It's legit your fault. Apologize. It's your fault. You shouldn't have done it. Apologize. That, that's all he wanted. We're very sorry, sir. We didn't mean to inconvenience you. I want to hear her say it. I want to hear her apologize to me! It's so easy. I want to hear her. Okay. You're wasting your time. Cause I'm not apologizing for anything. You think you can ruin my entire life and get away with it? That's a little dramatic. Did you get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I'd like you to get out of the vehicle now and apologize! What? What are you going to do about it? You need to take responsibility for your actions! No, I'm not saying Someone needs to teach you manners. Why wasn't your car door locked? Especially when he came to the window, you should have locked your fucking door. Oh my god. Oh my god. If your car door's open, it unlocked, then you're then you're stupid. Like, you're literally doing all this, you're interrogating him even further. Are you some kind of creep or something? Do you want to die? This girl's just asking for death, to be honest. Like, honestly, this girl's asking for it. I'm not saying this guy has any right to. He definitely has full rights to be upset. I'd be full, fully upset. I'm like, yeah, this girl's a fucking bitch. Like, she's honestly being... I don't, I don't, I don't care if she's 16. She, she's being a little bitch, and she's acting like she runs the whole world, and she does not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that's not okay. Like, you can't act like this and expect to get away with it, but... And plus, the accident up ahead. Is there no police or firefighters or something up ahead that can hear all this commotion? Is there no drivers around? There's, there's a vehicle in front of them, beside them, behind them. Obviously the girl, obviously the car behind her is him, but in front, beside, to the diagonally, bro, everybody can hear this, especially if their windows are down. They can all hear this. And, and you're telling me that no one can hear you. No one sees what's going on. No, no one sees that? No one sees that. No one's calling 911. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. No one's calling a tow truck. Even though there doesn't need to be a fucking tow truck because as we saw, the tire's fine. The, the police, paramedics, firefighters are not seeing any any, any of this happen. There's 
there's a car accident. There's, there's going to be some kind of emergency personnel there. Somebody. If it's not police, well, then it's EMS. They'll call the police. Like, my dude, there's so much wrong with this video. Are you some kind of a creep or something trying to get into a young girl's car? What's wrong with you? All I want you to do is admit that you popped my tire. Admit it. You literally did that. You legit did that. I mean, it's not popped, but, like, you legit did that. Don't complain anymore. You legit did it. You're going to anger him even further. Bro, this is why you're going to get killed. I'm going to call the cops and tell them some perv is harassing us if you don't leave. Stop taunting him. That's the word, taunt. Oh, my God. He's trying to get in the window. Oh, my God. There's literally cars everywhere beside you. Holy shit, look at his face. You're, you're telling me that no one sees this happening. I'm sorry, I paused like 7,000 times, but bro, no one can see this happening. Nobody sees this going on, nobody. Well, I'll be right back. Pull up your window, lock your car, and get the fuck out of there. Close your window. Your car's on. You can roll up the window. Can you not? He pushed it down with his hands. You can put it. The, their power windows. Put it back up. He can't grab the window if the car's locked. He 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 could try breaking the window. But what do you mean? I'll be right. Back. Oh, check out the gun. Oh fuck. I'm so sorry guys, I'm so sorry. There's three vehicles right there. There's three vehicles and no one sees a guy out of the car right now. Nobody sees this? Nobody's calling the cops. Nobody. Nobody's doing anything. What the fuck is going on? This ain't realistic. <laughs> Like, it, is there no person in this car, in this car, in this car, because that's, that's there too, you know, that's the guy and the girl. There's three cars right there, there's a vehicle right there, there's a fucking fire truck right there for crying out loud. Nobody hears this? And no, and no one's gonna hear a fucking gunshot? Like, at least this guy's smart enough to get outside. Like, I get that he has a gun, but at least call the cops or something. At least someone has, a, at least someone has some sense. Oh my God. What? Clearly he's gone insane. Whatever she did to you, it's not worth shooting over, okay? It's not worth going to jail for the rest of your life. I've got nothing left to lose. <laughs> because of you, I'm gonna miss my court date. Because of you, I lost my kids! Just, just put the gun down. I'm sure we can help you somehow. Okay? You will apologize to me, right? Now, I'm giving you one last chance. Look at that shoot me in front of all these other people! He, uh, she, she's instigating him even more. Sorry, taunting him even more. There's a gun pointed at your mouth, at your face, literally inches from your face, and you're telling me, oh, oh like you're gonna shoot me in front of all these people. You're, you're just trying to die. I'm so sorry, guys. But she's just asking to get killed right now. She's asking to die right now. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Go to hell, creep. See you in hell. And nobody sees this happening. Nobody. No one sees this happening. He, 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 he casually goes back to his car. And he's going to sit in his car waiting in the traffic jam after just killing somebody. Pardon me. Oh, fuck, I just can't this video.
rage is the cause of approximately 30 murders per year, and 8 out of 10 Americans are involved in road rage incidents at least once a year. So always remember to keep a cool head when you're on the road, and try not to escalate situations that may arise. Yes, Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to link and subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos. Did you say like or link? Honestly, guys, that video just makes no sense. Like, the video legit makes no sense because, like, that just makes no sense to me. It legit makes no, it, it makes no sense. I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. That makes no sense at all. You're legit telling me all that. Like, you're legit telling me all that happened. Especially just the fact that the girl literally had a gun. A gun pointed to her head. And, and she's still taunting him. Okay, well, you're asking to die. Again, the fact that he was like, yeah, like, you took your kids away from you, did all this stuff. And then, of course, he happens to call, like, three seconds after you freaking shoot someone to kill someone. And again, nobody around does anything about it. No one no one does anything to stop it. They just say, oh, man, please stop. Like, I get it. Like, you know, even I wouldn't approach someone with a gun because they have a gun. Hello. I, I call the police and run away. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you may not be able to save them. But again, like, you're, like, you're, like, you're just going to die. They're going to die. Like, it, it's just not. It's not going to work out. Again, someone has a gun, like, you're you're kind of useless against a gun. Like, boom, you're dead. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, bro. Honestly, she obviously, by by and no means necessary, did she deserve to get shot. No means necessary, just, like, not at all. She did not deserve to get shot at all. But, I definitely understand why the guy was mad. The girl was taunting him and being a little bitch. I can't really argue that because, like, it's literally facts. I can't argue that, but she obviously didn't deserve to get killed over that. But again, it's kind of her own fault. Like, she literally could have said sorry, and that's it. Like, again, it's not even the fact that it was his fault. It was the girl's fault. The girl the girl was fully at fault here. Easily. Fully at fault. Especially the fact that even after giving the finger and, and cutting her off, he didn't care that much to get out, out, out of the car. He got out of the car because he popped her... Because he popped his tire. Of course that I'd be fucking pissed. Like, you're trying to get to court. You're in a traffic jam that you can't get out of. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand. I really don't understand. And then, and then just the fact that, that, that this all happens in front of, like, six other vehicles at least. Or four or five or whatever. And then it, there's an accident up ahead. There's people there, my dude. There's people managing the accident. And I tell me no one can hear. Like, no one can hear that shit. Nobody hears it. Nobody. Okay. Okay, Generation 12. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for that video. You got me fucking road rage now. I guess how stupid this video was. Like, no hate, I like Generation Hope and everything, but like, that was just not realistic. That makes no sense at all. That literally made zero sense. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. With that being said, though, I'm glad you guys liked it. I'm glad you guys, um, or I'm, I, I hope you guys liked it. I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment down your thoughts on this video, because I really want to know yours as well, because you, you, you obviously know mine. The girl didn't deserve it, but she was stupid, and... She easily could have avoided getting shot, but she was just stupid enough to say, you know what, I'm not apologizing because I'm a spoiled little 16-year-old bitch. That's, that's legit what she was doing. Like, that was, that, that's her own fault. Honestly, I can't even deny that. Again, she did not deserve to die. Don't get me wrong. She did not deserve to die at all. But, a simple apology and you would have been alive. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for... Generation Hope, and for my for for me as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.